watching Fox and Friends first on this Thursday morning. I'm Carly Chimkis. And I'm Todd Pyro. A lot going on in that region that we're going to start feeling right here at home. Check this out. Wild story here. A shoplifting suspect in Central Florida. Florida burns his own house down and narrowly gets out alive after trying to outrun police. A total on the hunt for a smash and grab crew that made out made off with a quarter million dollars worth of luxury goods from a Chanel store. Um, <laughs> I know. Uh, <laughs> I know there's Dancer, Blitzer, there's Donna. Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen. Comic? Comet. Oh, Comet. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's amazing more of those names haven't and gotten more popular. What biblical scholars are you talking about? Right. I mean, I don't think we should go down this road. All right. I'm just, after your last biblical lesson. Because last the, the drummer boy. The drummer boy. Because you can't find the drummer boy in any doctor. It's not any scripture for that. Right. I saw something on Instagram recently about the little drummer boy, and it was like, after somebody gives birth, that's what every mother would want. Right. Exactly. <laughs> a, right. a solo drum the, performance yeah, from a little honey, boy. The baby. Uh, yeah, honey, get <laughs> I never thought about it like that before. Get, get the child with the snare drum, bring him in, because I'm sure the baby would Who love this. Who contacted you about the number of the reindeer? Uh, people, right? I got On two social or three media? emails. That's why I was waiting for the right bump in, because I've been holding this back <laughs> uh, for Were a while. Upset? Wow. Yeah. They're like, what's with six rate? Because there's yeah. people don't like when you mess with tradition. This is true. But I mean, I do love what graphics did. Yeah, let's so not bash Alan. Let's not bash Alan. It's a very pretty graphic. We just had, can we add, uh, who's missing? Blitzen? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, Vixen, I, I'm, and Vixen and Donner. I'm going to call Alan at the end of the program, and let's see if we can get that fixed. Say, can you say, hey, Alan, can you count to Listen, eight? Listen, I'm going to say, look, Brian's been getting a lot of grief about this. <laughs> right. And he took one for the team. Uh, can you get her done by tomorrow? I think he can do it. Remember the documentary, Elf? Uh, the sled crashes into Central Park yeah. with eight reindeer. You put six down there, they don't even make it to That's New York. That's a problem. Yeah. All right. That's all, all right. Well, guys, can you believe it? We are at the end of the year. That's our bank as well. So there's that. All right. Coming up, President Biden finally. Forgive, so forgive me. <laughs> Sorry, Drew. <laughs> uh, I think one of the biggest headlines from this interview was that Voldemort moment. And everyone saying that Conan O'Brien compared Trump to Voldemort. That wasn't really what it was. He was saying that President Biden said the other guy, like he who shall not be named, named yeah. not saying that Trump is evil. I don't know how he feels about and, Trump. And Prob Conan's probably that he's evil, but because he's a Hollywood guy. Yeah, he's known as a big uh, history guy. So he's a smart guy. I mean, he's definitely tuned into the news. Uh, I'm surprised he got that interview. I think the president owes it to us to give us a recap and preview. He usually is a great opportunity for somebody who's running for re-election to get the to use yeah. the bully bullpen and say, hey, this is why you should vote for me. Look what I've done. Look what I'm going to do. Is that it? Yeah. Is that the one we're getting as we go into the holidays? <laughs> You're starting to sell us on the, the, the Ukraine war. How do you back Israel? Why should we be looking out for Taiwan? What about this conversation you had with President Xi where he guaranteed he's going into Taiwan? He called him Did, a smart guy during the interview. Why, how, why is that? Look, I'm else? not saying that he has to do, you know, I would love a, to see a it. hard news person, but I'm just saying I want somebody to press him on the, the issues of the he day. Have a presser. Yeah. He should have a presser. Something mm -hmm. like that. Novel uh, idea. And right. if he does a presser, maybe not have the pre-selected questions with the answers already be true. on there. I, we don't need the scripts. Yeah. All right, coming up, WWE legend Huck Hogan. Let some mystical creature take credit for that. Oh. Yeah, so you so, like two and three years old? Yeah, he was like, I bought it. Santa didn't Well, he was did. taking credit for Santa's work <laughs> yeah, because Santa yeah, is real and visits yeah, all the houses. Yeah, all the houses. So, yes. you know, uh, I'm so glad I get to believe in Santa. Now. Yeah. When, right. So, Sa for, for when I was a kid at uh, for Christmas, uh, Santa would bring some of the presents, and then my parents would write mom and dad on the other ones that they gave. Right. But Santa way, would drop off no. some. And there's a lot of kids watching now. Right? The, the <laughs> I, I'm, just, I'm just saying. I'm just, so, I'm just, so what you're telling me, Brian, is that my children. dad took credit for Santa's work. That's what I'm saying. Wow. Right? Yeah. And, the, and he's a lovely that man. I, I met him last year. Yeah, but he, he was taking credit. He right. wasn't being totally Which honest is not like moment. him. It is not like him. That's not it's, like him. Yeah, it's yeah. not like him. Thank you. <laughs> Big save. They, on the Marion Rivera? You know what? I, I got to tell you this. Rivera of the show. You, Big I, save. I, you are a wingman. You know, that's what you do as the face of the show. You save me. <laughs> I did. In the moment where I was getting ready to blow right. up something. I'm no middle reliever. Yeah. I'm a closer. Right. I'm, a sa I, I'm a saver. This, this may be a Shaq and, you know. And Kobe? And Kobe relationship <laughs> in the making. Right. You're 7-1 and I'm yeah. not. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
So listen, uh, let's talk about the other thing. This is so much like sports. Hey guys. All right, you almost did it as well it. as I did, Adam. <laughs> you added something. Hey, you can see my breath. <laughs> I think it is. I thought, I thought it was cute. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was cute. Uh, All right, so uh, this is uh, one of the busiest travel days of the year. You know, everybody's oh. trying to get here and there everywhere uh, for the holidays. And there is one story that it piqued our attention. It's sort of sad. It's sort of funny, especially because of the guests that we had on to talk about it. There's a cruise that was... Uh, we had to go buy what, clothes. What personalities can, they were in matching sweaters. Yeah, they had to just, buy sweaters. Can we just talk about how positive they were? If this happened to me, uh, I would be so ticked. Think about it. You save all this money. Yeah. You were telling me about the story. They saved all this money. They bring the kids together, and then you end up in Canada? Like, could you Canada? have gone to Florida? Yeah. I, mean, I, mean, I don't know. Why did they... Uh, let's just do it anyway. We got particle board, put it over the cement, and we got uh, stack tables, and everyone still talks about you made the that, best of it. That Christmas Eve. Yeah. That, like, remember that Christmas Eve when Sandy came in? And we sat there with light poles in the back, and it was. It could have been negative, right. but you decided I to. I think that's what their attitude yeah, is. You just reminded me one of my favorite vacations that I took with my husband when we just started dating. It was the first time we w ever went to, on a vacation together. We went to Puerto Rico, and there was a hurricane hit Puerto Rico while we were while we were there we didn't leave the hotel room or the hotel uh, for five of the seven days wow. hey, well, if you survive but it was that, funny it was, well it was just funny engaged. it was fun yeah. yeah and and you know what there was well really quickly uh my husband loved it because every single channel on the tv was in Spanish except they had the NFL network uh, they, that was the only English channel that they had so he's like this is do incredible you speak, do you speak Spanish no I don't because you, you're I don't. Puerto Rican right I, yes. Half Puerto Rico. yes that was the first time I went to Puerto Rico all right you're gonna love this next thing yeah coming up two times NBA All-Star. Happy to have you here. Uh, so tell us about this new film. Uh, you're going into a different little space right here, and I was reading some of your POV. You say you went to a different spot with this act, this assignment right yeah. here. Nice person, and and you're a religious guy. You have such great values and morals, and you're trying to display that in this movie, which is great. You always play the villain. Why? Well, I think everyone has a reason to go. Exactly. Here's a, here's a clip from the shift. What a moment. Yeah, it's a pretty good moment. So <laughs> he's in hell. He didn't know it. Well, he's. It's basically the book of Job, and so. Uh, you know, I so, guess that's the goal. Right, that's the goal. So it, it's worked. Angel Studios. God bless you guys for doing what you do, and thanks for letting me be part of it what, with Reve and producer all. What do you want people to get from the film? Of course, the story of Job is, you know, God tells Satan, "Look, put him through hell." That's right. Put him through hell. You, like you can do everything. You just can't touch his soul. Well, we all go through. You know, it's doing great, and, I'm, and thank you, everyone who's watched the ship. Someone without experience or talent, I'd like to offer. Oh, here we yes, go. <laughs> I mean, it's just, I know it's a little last minute. Come on in. Right. We got it. We got it. I'm not That's really right. good at memorizing either. That's right. Neither so, am I. We're, we're, we're the same. Lionel. You're really selling yourself, Ryan. <laughs> Have you been on the set with me? That's me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> really good. Yeah. oh wow. Um, what's happened with Yellowstone? Do we know? We don't. We don't know. I, I was texting with Cole Hauser the other day, and you know, they're, they're going back up in you know March, April. Point out is how fit you are. I hope you're not. Co I don't I hope that doesn't make you uncomfortable. No, no. But, <laughs> but you, when, when, when you train, when you when you run after five kids, he's cut this out is a stone. I took his hand and goes, "Wow, you're fit. What do you do?" Right. <laughs> well, I'm also training for this next next movie. I gotta be fit. I gotta stay in shape. I gotta show the no, young cats how to I do it. I asked you that four times. You gave me no answer. She asked you once. I gave you the answer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I gotta save it. You know, Carly asked me. Yeah, I gotta. I was too pushy with that. Yeah, that's right. I was. I should learn. I'm sorry, Lawrence. But I got to say, I'm just a huge fan of the okay. show. Just Thank for that, you so coming back. So coming back. There yeah. it is. Thanks. Right. Congratulations. Thank you so Wonderful much. Wonderful having Thanks, you on studio, right. in studio. What a treat. All right. Coming up, the crisis. Four days to go until Christmas. We're, of course, counting down with our Fox and Friends advent Get calendar. Let's here, open up day 21. Should I? So, okay. No. I'm going. Brian, because I care about you and right. it's day 21, <laughs> and you're my elder. I'm going to go. Oh, okay. <laughs> And, uh, and bend over and what do you got? Okay, we got a robot. I always wanted to be a robot. 
That is Tamashi Nation. Oh, yeah. so it's a game. And look yeah. at it. Look at all the different it's things that it can for, do. Uh, uh, for animal lovers. Anime lovers. Anime. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good game for the anime lovers out there. <laughs> oh, thanks so much for watching Fox and Friends. Have a great day. Go watch Brian's radio show. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs>